Hello everyone. Today, I'll introduce BDB, an advanced unified data analytics platform designed for seamless enterprise integration and optimized operational insights. BDB is powerful data analytics platform designed to empower organizations with robust data capabilities. Let's explore how BDB can revolutionize your data operations and drive transformative insights. The BDB platform accelerates high-velocity data product delivery through rapid development and deployment capabilities, leveraging a low-code approach to simplify DevOps complexities. It integrates disparate data sources to provide a unified view of business operations, ensuring efficiency, reliability, and compliance. Let's now explore the standout features of the BDB platform. BDB offers cloud-agnostic deployment across AWS, Azure, and GCP, supporting hybrid and on-premise infrastructures. It integrates seamlessly with existing data lakes, ensuring compatibility and preserving investments. Robust data ingestion capabilities, including real-time streaming and batch processing, maintain up-to-date data flows. Unified data dissemination and self-service analytics empower users with diverse technical backgrounds, while advanced AI models optimize data operations across engineering, science, and visualization tasks. Let's delve into the advantages of the BDB platform. The BDB platform seamlessly integrates with GCP, Azure, and AWS, supporting hybrid environments without disruptions or costly migrations. Built on open-source components, it ensures vendor independence and long-term supportability, continuously integrating new features. With low-code capabilities for diverse data integration and GDPR-compliant security, BDB offers customizable, white-labeled solutions for rapid innovation. Its cost-effective deployment on Kubernetes ensures high availability, reliability, and efficient resource utilization for enhanced business value delivery. The BDB decision platform is trusted by Fortune 500 companies like AT&T, AstraZeneca, Sony, and Vodafone, highlighting its extensive reach and reliability. We also collaborate with over 15 prominent system integrators such as Tech Mahindra and ITC Infotech. These partnerships drive business intelligence and decision-making across various sectors. Experience the power of data and AI with BDB Decision Platform, your partner in data-driven success. Let's walk through the deployment stack of the BDB platform, designed for seamless operation across cloud, on-premise, or hybrid environments. It comprises several layers. Kubernetes Cluster Manages application deployment and scaling Uses an ingress controller to route external traffic through a firewall Platform Layer Includes the platform UI, gateway, and core for user interactions and core functionality Provides APIs, dashboards, reports, and single sign-on SSO capabilities. Orchestration layer. Manages data workflows, pipelines, and preparation. Features a data science lab for advanced analytics and machine learning, supporting generative AI with optional GPU use. Tenant execution layer. Executes tenant-specific tasks like pipeline components, data services, and API ingestion. Monitors service health and manages sandbox storage. Monitoring. Utilizes Grafana, Fluent, Prometheus, and Zabbix for continuous performance and operational health monitoring. This architecture ensures scalable, secure, and efficient management of data and applications across different environments. Creating a data engineering flow for a restaurant analytics use case typically involves several key steps. We'll start by uploading a restaurant sales CSV file into the sandbox environment and enhancing its quality through data cleansing processes. Next, we'll orchestrate a Spark job for batch processing, transforming the data and transferring it to the consumer data source using a no-code slash low-code approach. We'll also utilize the Data Science Lab, DS Lab, to develop notebooks, register jobs, and export scripts to pipelines, preparing machine learning models for the pipeline. Finally, we'll handle intricate real-time processes with advanced pipelines, configuring them with machine learning components for seamless execution of complex workflows. Let's begin the live demo of the BDB platform. This is the login page of the platform. Once logged in, we'll navigate to the home page of the platform. The BDB platform's home screen is the central hub where users effortlessly access their assigned files, reports, and dashboards. It's the starting point for easy navigation and quick access to your content. The platform app menu is a key component of the home screen, it has all the plugins available within the platform. Each plugin plays a crucial role in executing different use cases and enables the platform to deliver complex functionalities. Let's start with Admin Plugin. This plugin is designed for the administrator to take control of the platform where the administrator would be able to perform various tasks such as audit trial, performing audit, authentication, server configuration, document management, doing the encryption part, Git integration language mapping, license management, server monitoring, etc. So all these features are built inside the platform and the administrator will be able to take full control of them. 
Next, the security plugin is designed for administrators to manage and enforce security measures within the platform. It enables administrators to create users and user groups, provide role-based access control, add users to groups, and assign various security levels, such as role-level security and access-level security. Moving to the next plugin that is the data center. It is a heart of the platform. It offers 70-plus built-in data connectors that cover a wide range of sources, such as RDBMS, big data environments, flat files, third-party APIs, CRM systems, and social media platforms. This is the Consume Data Connector and its not operational data connectors. This capability enables users to create connections and build datasets for comprehensive data analysis and reporting. Data Center provides various functionalities, including the creation of datasets, data stores, and their metadata. The Data Center also offers a data sandbox for experimentation, data prep for data cleaning and transformation, and the ability to expose data as an API. These features enable users to efficiently manage and integrate data according to their requirements. Let's add custom file in Data Sandbox. The Sandbox feature allows users to add any custom file, making it easy to incorporate diverse data sources into their engineering and analysis. After uploading the custom file to the Sandbox, users can perform comprehensive data preparation tasks, such as cleaning, transforming, and organizing the data to ensure it is ready for analysis. This prepared data can then be seamlessly integrated into other modules of the BDB platform, such as DS Lab and Data Pipeline. Once you've found the Sandbox section, you should see an option to create a new Sandbox. Now, let's give the Sandbox a name. Well, let's name it Restaurant underscore Sales underscore Data, provide an appropriate description if needed. Choose a name that will help you identify it later. This can help provide more context or details about the purpose of the sandbox. Next, you'll need to choose your data file. Look for an option to upload or select a data file for the sandbox. Once you've uploaded the data file to the sandbox, you're ready to proceed with creating data preparation to perform specific transformation or operations on the data. Let's get started with the data preparation process. Select Data Preparation icon for Restaurant Sales Data. We'll navigate to the Data Preparation homepage. Here on the Data Preparation homepage, you can see your complete dataset displayed in a grid form. The Data Preparation plugin automatically profiles the data, providing valuable insights into its characteristics and detecting any anomaly data. You can also view the data profiling details. On the right hand side, you'll find the selected columns profile. Here, you can explore various details such as charts, information, and patterns associated with the selected column. All the transformations will appear inside Transform tab. Let's walk through the process of adding a transformation to data. Select Column, choose the column you want to transform, such as Cust underscore ID. Navigate to Transform section, go to the Transform section in the BDB platform. Apply Masking Transform, search for Masking in the Transform options, and select it. Set parameters, specify the start and end indexes to mask the data in the selected column, then save your changes. All the transformation history recorded in the step section. To add another transformation where some cells are blank in the AAP column. Select Column, choose the AAP column where some cells are blank. Find Transformation option, navigate to the Transformation section. Search and select Fill Empty Cells with Text. Look for the Transformation option named Fill Empty Cells with Text. Specify value, enter Not Applicable or Mene as the text to fill empty cells with. Submit Transformation, click on a Submit or Save to apply the transformation. Save Preparation and close it. This is how we prepare, and we can reuse it for many different data engineering tasks. Next, we'll navigate to the Pipeline module and create job assets. Let's choose Data Pipeline from the App menu to start creating jobs. Here, users can easily create jobs using a simple drag-and-drop feature. Enter the job name and description. 
Users can select various job types such as Spark, PySpark, Python, or Script Executor from the job base info. Let's choose Spark option. You can schedule the job based on your specific requirements, ensuring tasks are executed at optimal times. Set up alerts for success or failure scenarios, ensuring you're notified of job outcomes in real time. And save configurations. With our BDB pipeline, we have the flexibility to connect to various data sources such as Amazon S3, Microsoft Azure, and HDFS. For this demonstration, we'll showcase our sample sandbox reader. First, let's drag and drop the sandbox reader component onto our workspace. We'll configure it to read a custom file and select headers and infer schema option for clarity and ease of use. Save the component configuration. Next, our platform supports a wide range of transformations to suit your data needs. Let's start by using a query transform component. Here, we define a view named InputDF and write a SQL query such as select asterisk from InputDF. This query allows us to manipulate and structure the data as needed. After defining the transformation, we save the component to finalize our query configuration. Next, we proceed to write the transformed data into our target data source using the Consume Data Sources component. Let's complete our data workflow by configuring the writer component to store our transformed data into ClickHouse. Just drag and drop the DB writer component onto our workspace and configure it with all the mandatory fields. Host, specify ClickHouse host address. Port, specify ClickHouse port number. Username, specify your ClickHouse username. Password, enter your ClickHouse password. Database name, specify the database name in ClickHouse. Table name, specify the table name in ClickHouse. Select driver, select driver ClickHouse from the dropdown. Save mode, choose the appropriate mode for data transfer. And validate connection and save the component. Now, it's time to update and execute the job. Navigate to the Update Job icon. Next, activate the job to initiate the execution process. Log section, check the logs to monitor the job's progress and status. This includes deploying the necessary drivers and executors based on node availability. Once everything is deployed successfully, the job proceeds to execution. The job reads data from a sandbox environment. It performs SQL transformations on this data and loads it into a consumption source, which in this case is ClickHouse. After the job completes, verify whether the data has been successfully written into the target database, ClickHouse. After the job completes, verify whether the data has been successfully written into the target database, ClickHouse. To check this, access the ClickHouse database. Execute a query to ensure the table with the specified name exists. Verify that the data has been written to the table. In the job workspace, we also provide a job monitoring feature that enables seamless tracking of jobs and their associated tasks. This feature allows users to monitor essential details such as job status, last activated and deactivated time, and comprehensive metrics on CPU and memory usage. All this critical information is conveniently consolidated on the job monitoring page, ensuring easy access and efficient management of workflows. This approach allows us to perform batch jobs. This is the no-code approach. Now we can also handle complex real-time processes using pipelines. We can achieve the same with customized code as well. Let's move on to the Data Science Lab. Select the DS Lab plugin from the app menu. With the BDB Data Science Lab, you can unleash your creativity by creating AI or ML models. The platform supports different environments such as PyTorch, TensorFlow, and PySpark, giving you the flexibility to work with your preferred tools. Here, create a new project or choose an existing one that you've already configured, then activate the selected project. Once you are inside the project, select the repo option, and then choose Create to start a new notebook. Here, specify notebook name and description, and then save it. Next, let's add a dataset. Click on the data icon and select the add icon. 
choose data sandbox file from data sources to list all available files. Select the restaurant underscore sales underscore data from the list to add it to your notebook. Once added, the dataset conveniently appears in the data section of your notebook. Select first cell. Click on the first cell in your notebook. Bring dataset into notebook. Select the dataset of interest, such as restaurant underscore sales underscore data, to populate the code in the notebook cell. Run the code. Execute the code in the cell to load the selected dataset into the notebook for analysis. Add predefined preparation. Choose a data preparation from the context menu. Select the specific preparation you want to apply. Here are the transformations we've done in this preparation. Generate the preparation script. Modify the data frame name in the script as needed. Execute the cell containing the modified script to apply the transformations and get the transformed data. Define function to load data. Next, define a function named load data in another cell. Paste the data preparation code, data prep code, inside this function. This Python script allows you to write any necessary code. And at last ensure the function returns the prepared data frame. Test the function. Now, let's test the function. Print the function load data and execute the cell to test it. This step verifies that the function successfully prepares and returns the data frame. Save the notebook and register notebook script as a job. Go to the repository where your notebook is located. Right-click on context menu and select the register option. Here we have to choose the function you want to register and click next. Validate the function details and click next. On the register as a job page. Enter a scheduler name. Provide a scheduler description. Select the start function. Configure other job settings as required. Click Save to register the job. Once saved, the job will be created in the pipeline jobs and activated for execution. We can check in pipeline module where job is getting executed. Now, let's export script to pipeline. Opening notebook context menu. Click on the three dots associated with the selected notebook. Look for and click on the export option within the notebook's context menu. Upon clicking export, a dialog box labeled export to pipeline slash git should appear. Select the export to pipeline option by checking the respective checkbox. If applicable, choose a specific function associated with the notebook by using another checkbox. Click on the next option to proceed to the next screen. The screen displays the selected script or function. Clicks on external library and choose library if required. Look for a validate icon or button on the screen and click it. Upon validation, a confirmation message will inform you if the script is valid or meets certain criteria. Once the script is validated, the A export to pipeline option should be enabled and script is exported to the pipeline. Let's explore how to export a script to a pipeline and effectively reuse it. First, navigate to the pipeline module and create a pipeline. Specify name of the pipeline and description and save it. Instead of using a reader component, utilize a custom machine learning reader you've created. Configure the reader with mandatory fields. Utilize the intelligent scaling feature to enhance processing speed by automatically adjusting the number of component instances. This feature optimizes component capacity, minimizing data processing delays during peak traffic periods. By dynamically responding to increased data demands, BDB ensures peak performance and operational efficiency. Switch to metadata and select script runner as the execution type. 
specify a data frame as the function input type, and provide details such as project name, script name, specify external library, and start function. Save the configured component. Since it's an event-driven job orchestration, ensure each component, acting as a microservice, has an associated event. Here we can add more transformation and use writer for writing data into different data sources. Let's add writer component and write transformed data into click house. Just drag and drop the DB writer component onto our workspace and configure it with all the mandatory fields. Host, specify click house host address. Port, specify click house port number. Username, specify your click house username. Password, enter your click house password. Database name, specify the database name in ClickHouse. Table name, specify the table name in ClickHouse. Select driver, select driver ClickHouse from the dropdown. Save mode, choose the appropriate mode for data transfer. And validate connection and save the component. Proceed to update and activate the pipeline. Monitor component status through logs, pods should be up and running to indicate successful execution. Once complete, review the logs to confirm data transmission to the event. Upon data transmission, observe the transformed records as a result of the orchestrated pipeline. After the data has been sent, you will see the records in the event where transformation occurs. Once the process is successfully completed, you can verify if data has been successfully written into the ClickHouse database by following these steps. First, ensure you are connected to ClickHouse. Next, locate your target table where the data should have been stored. Finally, verify the data within that table to confirm that the expected information has been successfully written and is accessible in ClickHouse. This process allows you to ensure that your data integration or ingestion has been executed correctly and that the data is available for further analysis or use as intended. The BDB pipeline offers comprehensive features including failure analysis, a testing framework, and Git integration. These capabilities empower users to analyze and troubleshoot component failures efficiently, ensure robust testing of pipeline configurations, and seamlessly integrate version control with Git for collaborative development and management of pipeline workflows. If any component processing fails, it is indicated in red color, allowing users to identify the root cause. The Failure Analysis page provides tools for analyzing the reasons behind component failures within the pipeline. This feature enables users to diagnose issues promptly and efficiently resolve them to maintain smooth workflow operations. In this video, we've showcased how data engineers leverage the BDB platform to ingest, transform, and create robust data flows. Thank you.